Well, this is the last of the qualifying rides for Super Cup tonight. And next time you'll see them will be in the B or the big A final. And what a position for John Halsey to take. He's on this outside gate. We've seen all night that these outside gates have proved beneficial. Will they for the final? He's got a chance to test it now. As they get underway, he's certainly got the drive on. It's a long way round, but he's done exactly that. He's got himself to the front. Oh, that could be a little tip for the final because, of course, the top scoring rider will get the choice of gate. It's a big, big gamble. But it certainly has proved beneficial for a lot of riders tonight to come from gate six and get themselves in front. Meanwhile, Paul Whitelam is on the inside of John Halsey and Jason Glennie. The two of them locked together and they both go very, very wide. That's allowed another crew to come through on the inside and they sort themselves out. It is Paul Whitelam has got through. So Paul Whitelam who drove hard into the side of John Halsey. They sort themselves out and it is Paul Whitelam that's got the lead. Well, in fact, who's come through on the inside. Now the one I was looking for was Miles Simmons. He needs a win really here to get a position in the A final. And at the moment he's sitting back in fourth place. So will John Halsey fight back? He knows that even finishing in third he qualifies for the final, but that might not give him first choice of gate. And as I'm sure that everybody will tell me, they don't really get the chance to think about all these permutations when they're out there. The best thing to do is just to concentrate and go for the highest possible position. And that looks like what John Halsley's doing as he goes down the back straight, trying to get around the outside of Rob Winterburn. As he teased him to go wide on the exit of the bend, now finds a way through on the inside. Oh, that was a terrific turn from John Halsey. But Rob Winterburn comes back at him. <laughs> Well, that was close on the line between those two. I hadn't even seen the chequered flag because I thought that they had another lap to go.